guys, it's Becca from From Gardeners to Burgers blog and from Weatherwood Stains. I wanted to talk to you tonight about how you can layer waxes. So um, I'm working with these this Annie Sloan product and what I've already done is I applied Annie Sloan soft wax to both sides of this cedar board. So I've got a smooth and a rough cut. And once that product's been allowed to sit and cure, I have gone, I'm ready to go back and use Annie Sloan's dark wax on top of the soft to layer. So, um, we're ready to go over it and see what's gonna happen. Now, I could use this fancy um, wax brush or just a cheap wax brush, and with dark wax, I'm gonna use the cheap one. Um, and what you wanna do, here's your wax. You just wanna load up the tip of your brush, and we're gonna apply the wax with the grain, so in the video it's from side it's from side to side that I'm applying it. Now what happens is when I have a layer of clear wax underneath, the dark wax is unable to grab on as much. So when you apply dark wax straight to a piece of wood that's been stained with weather wood, like this, weather wood doesn't have any petroleum, no pigments, no dyes, no colorants, no latex. It's just a reactive stain. And so the wax is able to come in and uh, it's able to attach onto all of the wood surface because there's no barrier with weather wood stained wood. You can see all it is is just beautiful oxidized wood. Really gorgeous. And so on a side by side, you're able to see that um, that wax was able to grasp hold of quite a bit. Now with a coat of clear down, that's had time to cure. Now we're gonna come back through. I've got my cloth. I'm gonna just get a clean spot on my cloth and I'm gonna come back through and I'm going to remove any wax that's on the surface. And I can feel that there's already a difference because um, this feels like raw, raw wood um, here I can feel that the wax layers are starting to build up and feel smooth under my, my uh, cloth. See it quite a bit's coming off because, um, because we had that wax, that clear wax down to keep the dark wax from really getting into all the wood all the wood's pores and now I'm just I've already done the first once over now I'm just making sure that it's not sticky anywhere I want to make sure that when it cures I get really good protection I don't want it to have any build up anywhere that becomes tacky later. All right. So here's our difference. The one on the right has a coat of clear and then dark. And the one on the left is simply dark. And of course, both of them have been stained with reclamation. See, there it is. So I feel like you can easily compare the two browns um, to see the difference between the two. 
Um, well, I don't know what you think, but it's an interesting difference. This one is starting to feel like finished wood and this one still feels a lot like raw wood. But um, that's all there was to it. So a coat of clear soft wax and then a coat of dark wax for this one right here. Thanks for watching guys. If you're looking for more tutorials, our YouTube channel is packed full. Uh, learning how to use Annie Sloan with Weatherwood. We've got a bunch of support videos for you. I hope you enjoy.